Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper, and welcome to a quick tip for the Max for Life Convolution Reverb Pro. I have put up a couple months ago resources for impulse responses, which you can put onto or into the Reverb Convolution Reverb Pro for Max for Live or any other Convolution. Uh, reverb plugin and it just gives you different real spaces or people have gone out and recorded the reverb in different areas and stuff like that but one thing you may not have known is that you can just use any wave sample inside of the convolution reverb so right now i just got this synth one shot here and if i play it using one of the presets it's pretty cool so that's a convolution reverb impulse response from the stock pack but I can just take any waveform here and drop it inside of here. And the Convolution Reverb Pro is gonna analyze that file and then add reverb to this sample using this kind of format, this kind of idea here. So now listen to this. Just as using a different one shot as the reverb impulse response for this synth one shot. So that's with it. This is without and back with it again. Do you hear that? That is the, the coolest thing. Now, so as you can see, you can get really creative and I mean, there's no reason not just to go through and get some, um, just try out a bunch of different things, maybe a drum loop or something like that. Let's see if we can't get a drum loop. So as you can hear, you can get a lot of really crazy cool sounds. Um, I highly suggest you play around with that. You get inside of there and just find, maybe find a few that sound really good and put them off into their own little folder and just use those as your impulse response instead of just regular room sounds, which are great and very important. But if you're like, making trip hop or you're making a breakdown that you want to be really interesting and creative with, uh, this is definitely a good place to start or a good place to go to get um, juices flowing. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.